wanted to do two things in my life. I wanted to love God and I wanted to be perfect. So if you wanted to love God and be perfect in 1966, and you were a Catholic woman, the only choice you had was to enter a convent. And so I did. For over 1,500 years, cloister and religious habit were absolutely required. And all that was unchanged for years and years and years and years and years until Vatican II. Pope John XXIII said we had to re-examine who we were as the church and get back to the core of the teachings of Jesus, which were about compassion and justice, and get rid of what wasn't. One of the things of Vatican II was to look at the signs of the times. To be a Catholic then was very exciting. You just felt like you were part of this wave. Spirituality in the gospel was connected then with social justice issues, and politics were a part of that. I'm Sister Joanne Kirsch, Hi, Sister. and I really beg you to support this bill. It depends on you guys. I will read this, I will study it. I'd say it depends on okay. you gals, <laughs> and I will God listen. You. Your words mean a lot. We are the risk takers in the church. We are down there with the people. We know what the needs are. Stop the deportation. We must expand our vision of justice toward all beings. There must be justice toward the planet. I did exactly what the church asked me. And now the church is looking at me like, where have you come from? You know, who are you? I've been in the community 50 years. I'm celebrating my golden jubilee. You're gonna tell me for 50 years I haven't been faithful? I don't think so. I think we are very faithful to our founders' intention. I think all the religious communities are. And I think we have done really creative things in terms of ministry for people who are voiceless in the society.